Office of the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. Um, I am a marine biologist here at the sanctuary and deal with a lot of invasive species issues, including the invasive lionfish. Um, this is Invasive Species Week, week here at the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries. So we're going to be talking all about invasive species. We're going to be learning specifically about the lionfish today. Um, I'm joined by a group of students from Rice University. Um, they, they came down today from Houston to help out uh, with some lionfish dissections. Um, so the plan is we're going to all dissect a lionfish together, learn about the different parts of the lionfish, and then we're going to break up into groups. We have about um, 25 lionfish to get through. We won't be broadcasting that whole time, but we'll do one together and then break up and see what's in the stomachs of the lionfish, what they're eating, um, and also um, talk about some of the other problems that they cause on the reef. Um, so lionfish got to the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary in 2011, um, and since then the numbers have been increasing. Um, so we go out as divers and remove them from the sanctuary through permitted activities um, to try to manage uh, the invasion um, so that they don't have uh, negative impacts on our native fish species. Um, so when we go out and remove lionfish, we do it through scuba diving. Um, we use spear poles and a really nifty contraption called a zookeeper, which is what I have behind me. Um, we have needle-proof gloves uh, that we use so that we don't get spined by the lionfish. As you can see here, um, these fish have very sharp spines. Um, they're, they're needle sharp and these spines are venomous. So we don't ever as divers want to be spined by a lionfish because it doesn't feel good. Um, when we spear a lionfish, again, this is a permanent activity. Um, we use a thing called a zookeeper, which is a big PVC uh, tube with a funnel on the top. Basically, what's really cool is when, as a diver, we have a lionfish on a spear, the lionfish can fit in the funnel. You want to put it in? Yep. Lionfish goes in, the spear comes out, the fish stays inside. And so what's really nice is this is nice and hard, so the venomous spines can't poke through the plastic, so we stay safe as divers. We can put a lot of lionfish in one of these zookeepers, and then at the end of our dive, when we're back up on the boat, comes apart, we can dump out our lionfish, holding our needle-proof gloves, of course, and then take the fish out, empty our zookeeper, and then go back down for another dive to go rem remove more. Um, we go out every year and, uh, like I said, remove lionfish from the reef. We're also taking scientific data, we're doing fish surveys, um, because we want to know what type of impact these invasive species have um, within the, the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. So we're going to do a dissection together. This is a pretty decent sized lionfish. Um, they are ambush predators, and so basically they can open their mouth really wide and suck in uh, any type of fish or crustacean that it can fit in its mouth. Um, they get the name lionfish because their fins, when they're swimming in the water, fan out pretty wide, and it looks like a big lion's mane. Even though they're striped more like a tiger, um, when the fins open out, it's like the, the mane of a lion. As I said, these dorsal spines are venomous. There are 13 venomous spines on the top. Um, you have to not only watch out for the top, though, but you have to watch out for the underside of the fish because on the anal fin there is also a venomous spine and then on the pelvic fin um, there are uh, the, the first spine on the pelvic fin um, on each side is venomous as well. So these guys are covered in all directions. Um, so the first thing we want to do when uh, we start a dissection is get a weight on the fish. So I'm gonna uh, take my bin here and put it on our gram scale and then I'm going to zero out the scale to cancel the weight of the bin and then put the lionfish right here in the bin and so we can see what is it what do we got here 650 650 grams so this is a pretty 
decent sized lionfish. Um, we also want to get total length. Um, we don't have the, the best method uh, for getting total length of the fish right now. Sometimes it's really nice to have a fish trough or a hog trough. We don't have one of those today. Um, we just have a, a ruler, so we'll do the best that we can. But we want to get total length from the very tip of the mouth um, to the end of the tail for total length. Um, so that's 30 centimeters adding on seven more so 37 centimeters for total length and then for standard length um, we uh, don't measure the tail we go right to the base of the caudal peduncle here at the base of the body so from zero uh, down to 29.1 for standard length um, so that's basically it for um, external things that we want to measure um, when we look at the lionfish, as they get bigger, they have a lot of um, barbels and, and roughness along their face. So you have to kind of be careful as you grab them because these can get rather spiky when they get older. Um, and when they open their mouth and uh, we can open up here, we can see the, the gill rakers, the gills. This is how fish breathe, so to speak, underwater, getting the oxygen over the gills from the water. And um, what we're going to do is um, open up the lionfish and uh, we want to see inside. So the best way to do this is to cut from the base. And sometimes this seems a little extreme, but it's the best way to get in there. And then it brings a whole new meaning to the song Fish Heads. Um, but you guys can see uh, the gill plates here and all those nice bright red uh, feathery gills uh, here on the back of the lionfish. The otoliths, the ear bones um, that you can use to age the fish um, are here kind of behind the eyes um, in, in the base of the head. We won't get those out today because those are pretty small. and hard to get, um, but they're right here in the back. So I'm just going to set this to the side. And then the best way to get in is to cut basically from the sternum down because we want to be able to look inside and see what's going on in the stomach and look at organs. So make sure you guys can see if you can't see. So as we open up the fish, um, here in the back, this kind of shiny material is the swim bladder. Um, we have some intestinal fat, this white stuff here, and the liver that we're going to push away. So what's interesting is that lionfish have voracious appetites. They tend to eat a lot and as much, of, uh, uh, as much little native fish as they can. And what we're starting to see is that Lionfish are, are fat. They're actually obese because they're eating so much and have this, um, th this isn't too bad, but some lionfish have gobs and gobs of intestinal fat when you open them up. Um, it looks like we have a male. Um, as we look at this fish, you can see these two um, pink organs on either side. Those are testes. If this would have been a female, the ovaries would have been um, oval shaped and much bigger. So it looks like um, this one is a male. And then this organ right here that's connecting uh, up here to the top of the body is the stomach. So I'm basically just going to peel all of this other tissue away. And then the opening of the stomach is right here. And then I'm just going to make an incision right down the side. It seems pretty pretty small usually if there's something in the stomach there's uh, they're much bigger but as we open it up it looks like maybe we have an eyeball of a shrimp <laughs> you can see this little black thing right here and some some little tentacles and um, what we tend to see at the flower garden banks quite a bit as is the most common thing in the stomachs of lionfish are red night shrimp. So it looks like this is the remains of a red night shrimp. It's really not um,
complete enough to take a, a measurement or anything because it's pretty well digested, but we, we see a lot of those in the stomachs, and um, so we can say with, with pretty good certainty that's what that is. Um, so anyway, that's information that we're wanting when we look at lionfish. We want to know what's in their stomachs. Um, we want to know the reproductive status of the fish. We want to know total length and size. And um, all of this information helps determine what's going on on the reef. And then we can compare this to our long-term monitoring data that we collect and notice how lionfish, um, or, or notice if, and, and determine if lionfish are impacting the native fish here in the sanctuary. Um, so we don't need this fish anymore. So what I'm gonna do is uh, put this fish back in the bag and then we'll get out a, a couple more fresh fish. We're gonna break up into groups and the, the students from Rice are gonna give it a go. I'm gonna be here to help and um, see what else we get in the stomachs. Sound okay? All right, so um, if a few of you wanna be down here and then we'll get another fish and um, set up right here. That will be awesome. And go ahead if you guys don't need to wait for me. <laughs> I'm here to help, and Raven's here to help, so. Right, so you want to weigh it first. Weigh it first. Yeah. first. So, yep, so you want to put it, make sure that the scale is zeroed out. Got it. Yep, so you put it in. what we try to do, because you want to make sure that you get all the data before you start measuring 157. your headache, because when there's so a lot of fish for weight, we'll want to put that down right there. So this day is So this be, fish, oh, the day is, is yeah. going to be so West Flower Garden Bank. 8, 2016, you missed the 16. 2. Um, and so this will be... And then the date is the same, so you can just put little... Yeah, awesome. And then we want dive for Grayson. Dash 2016. So we have number 2, Raven, from West Bank, 829. You all have 2? Okay, well this will be 1. What date is that bag? Oh no, this will be 3. Okay, so yeah. That one, we did the first one. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yes. So we want total length. So here. So you want to close the mouth. Yep, you got it. Perfect. So line it right up to the zero. And then twenty-three point dive one. Yeah. <laughs> yep. K R I S. And then you can keep it right on. Put a W. Perfect. Well, okay. And so then okay. when and the so nose is lined up, carrot. Mm -hmm. Pretty much right there. Yeah, 17. And then call it out once you do 16.9. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So All right. Now, and then there you want to go. You want to. Yep, right. pretty much. So yeah. you want to be careful of the spines because right. these can still get you. The best way to do it, I found, is to open yeah, so up the mouth, spread it open, and then make the incision. Yep. So you'll this way. Yep. The and then you'll <laughs> smile with the camera. <laughs> He's smiling. Yeah. So you guys can see this lionfish is much smaller. Um, and the size of fish that this lionfish would be able to eat, not okay. nearly as big as, you know, the one that we just did. So we have a, an interesting size range at the sanctuary. Right. And so then being careful of the spines on the bottom, you want to make the incision basically right at the sternum and go down the body, making sure to not cut through the organs. So you want to stay up top. There you go. And then snip like right along the skin. Perfect. Okay. Let's go down as you go a little further. I think that's pretty good. And then you kind of just peel it open. Awesome. Michelle, so, yeah. Are we taking fin clips or not? Um, not on, not on these ones. Okay. Yeah. So tell me what you see. Uh, this okay. is the so fat, I believe that you said. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So we've uh, got some intestinal okay. fat. <laughs> so Correct. it's easiest. I'll what is this thing right here? Stomach. Stomach. Right. So it's What's this big right bulgy thing right I'm here? I'm assuming that's the ovaries. No. No. Okay. So what makes the fish buoyant? No, it's um, a fish. Don't have lungs. Come on, Kevin. 
<laughs> I'm a terrestrial guy. <laughs> so yeah, swim bladder. Okay. There's still some air in the swim bladder. And then mm -hmm. um, okay, looking so for reproductive organs. The gills. You can oh. see right here so this long sliver and then one over uh, here. Yeah, you don't so it looks like we have a male. Okay. Cool. Awesome. The same thing. So we want to open so, up the yeah, stomach. You, uh, so it's best just yeah, to so kind of peel all of this other stuff away, kind of a bone or pulling it away here. from the and stomach. So you want to cut through across here, and it basically just cuts straight off to the head. Yeah, awesome. And then mm -hmm. where the stomach opens, then you'll want to take the scissors and snip along, and it feels like Big maybe there's something in there. Um, I do with yeah, the big ones. I usually do. Okay. I have to kind of just rip it apart, too. And it looks like we have some digested jar. mush mm. inside the stomach. Yep. So, so this one, was a fish at one time, time obviously year. way There's too digested to be spin. able to identify small. what this is. So on our notes, we would call this chyme, yeah, so um, C-H-Y-M-E. So we'll put yes. this ID yeah. down You can see them actually coming out of the because they're covered by a sheath, and so you can see them coming out of the sheath. They're this clear part that's coming out. And we'll just put <laughs> C-H-Y-M-E. Chyme just basically yeah, means here, digested just watch where your mush, fingers go. basically, <laughs> in the stomach. Yep. Yeah. Nice job, guys. So we have a couple more here to do from this bag. So you'll notice that the spines are pretty brittle and will sometimes break off. So we have to be really careful when we're dissecting them so that uh, you can do, those no, don't yeah, poke through the gloves. And so we'll put him back in and um, get going. So do you want to do one more and then sure. we'll switch with right. Mia? Ma Maya. Maya. Okay. Yeah, so, so we, we want to so wait. Ahead and wait this first. Yep. And this one... So this one will be, I think, four because we only have three. Yeah. 148. 148 grams. Yep. Yep. And then you just want to fan out the tail, and it looks like. Okay. 22.3 maybe. 22.3. Yeah. This is just me. Oh, this. And then right at the base of the body. 16.5. 16.5. Perfect. Like open them up. And yep. Decapitate this poor guy. Okay, so you can cut. So this is definitely the more messy part of science. It's really fun to go out diving and do all of these things, and then the stinky job is dissecting them all because it doesn't smell very nice in here right now. <laughs> could be worse. Yeah, it could always be worse. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Okay. All right. Take them, flip them, just cut along the yep. sternum. So I'm predicting, basing on some stuff that's coming out here, this is a female because it looks like we have mm -hmm. an ovary. Cut down. Um, sometimes it's easy to find like where the little opening is, and then you just kind of cut down. But nice job. So just yep, lifting up through the skin there, and then let's open up and see what we got. Oh, see. Yeah. Someone's been skipping So the lower cool. Abs. So this is a female. And you guys can see the difference right away in the reproductive organs. The testes are really long and thin. These, this is not a, a mature female, but definitely getting to a point where um, she is in a, a reproductive state. So these are ovaries that are developing. Um, what's really interesting about lionfish is once they're reproductively active, they'll reproduce almost every four days and can release 30 to 50,000 eggs every four days. So these guys are, are very active, they reproduce a lot. All of those then eggs that are, are, are um, fertilized and they float around in the currents for about 30 days as larvae and then um, drift around in the currents and then settle down and then start to grow up to become bigger lionfish. And so it's really interesting when you can see the difference between the male and the female. 
Um, so we can start to, Kevin, push that stuff out of the way there. And because we want to get to the stomach. Which I believe is right here. Yep. So kind of pulling away the liver and some of that intestinal fat. Feels like there's something in there. Yeah. And so, like the other ones, you'll want to cut from the, ba the, the top part of the stomach, like right at the opening, and then cut down and along. Okay. Fishy. Yep. So it looks like we have a little reef fish. Um, and also, <laughs> the red looks like a little shrimp. Um, it's a little hard to tell what this fish is because it's pretty well digested. Um, but we'll take its measurement anyway. So, looks like three centimeters of an unidentified fish, and then a one centimeter red night shrimp is what um, we're seeing in the stomach. And what's really sad about the whole lionfish invasion is that these lionfish were released, we're thinking from the aquarium trade. So people had lionfish as pets, lionfish ate all the fish in the tank, um, of the aquarium and then people didn't want to kill the lionfish so they dumped the fish. Um, what we're seeing now is that these lionfish are then eating all these native reef fish and so this should be a fish that should still be out swimming around in the reef. You know, it shouldn't be inside the stomach of an invasive lionfish. Um, so, awesome job. So we uh, will move on to the next one and if you guys want to switch, um, Kevin can take notes, Maya can do this other one. We'll put this in the bag so that it's done. Okay. And um, you can put your gloves in here. Uh, I have another bag. Oh. So, um, oh. y'all can just cycle through with whoever writes stuff down and then who's doing the cutting and measuring and everything. Yeah. So I brought paper towels. One, six, um, seven. So that you can kind of just wipe it off so you don't have to change out your gloves every time. So what fish are you guys on? So we um, just so did number four. <laughs> yeah, so we are on East or West Bank also. Yeah. Um, hang on. And so we would be... Are you guys we'll still on the 29th? Yes, we're still on the 29th. So okay. We'll go with five. Okay, right. So we'll be West 8, 2016. We'll be six. So these are still a bit frozen. <laughs> so you want to get it right in the middle of the ruler and you know don't be afraid to really get it down there and stretch it out to get the most accurate size that you can. So it looks like it's just 23. Yeah. He's a big guy. Yeah. So that's four. 17.1. Cool. Yeah, so here you'll do eight. So again, be and careful with the spines. Because we do the bank. Um, I find it easiest to so just open up the mouth. Five. Oh. That'll be this and then flare the gill plate five. open. Uh, and then it's Ari, A R I. And Rachel. Okay. Yeah, and it's going to be Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a big guy. Yeah, you guys definitely probably want to get that one. Okay. Okay. Cool. Y'all want to take a, a guess?